get started. In this tedious process. I gotta really be on point with the cough muting today. Cause they are so much worse than yesterday. <laughs> don't know what happened. I don't feel any worse, but the coughing is like, it's, it's noticeably worse. I've noticed, as you would imagine when I say it's noticeable. Let's see how much his filing technique has improved. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't so much do the chop anymore, also hello stove, so I think it's a little, it's a little better. I'm trying to nail down the timing. And also the pixels on these, like this right here, I see that not hiding from me. This is loud, this is loud, right? Get down. That's better for me, personally. I do like how I... <laughs> I can't, I don't have a hotkey set to mute the microphone on my... my little avatar dude here. So if I cough while I'm muted, you can just see your freaking uh, just happening. I want to give your throat a break. It's only a couple hours. I don't even, uh, I don't talk that much off stream. I'm literally just by myself in this house for most of the day. So I don't have much use for my vocal cords on a given day. I'm not at risk of overworking them, I don't. A couple hours of constant talking? No, I think that's being a little too generous. I do get into my manual labor phases where I just sit there. Alright, fine, fine, yes, thank you, mom. <laughs> uh. I don't want to, I'm gonna fix this. Actually, I can't even say that because my mom's the one who gave me an illness, so she's she's directly responsible. Also, uh, <coughs> the missed one. Whatever. I got Warhammer, by the way. I found it on one of them back alleyways. I did I did find it. It came with two DLCs and it was for like 40 bucks. I was like, "All right. Hell yeah, I'll take that." For sure. Better than 60 for no DLC. I have now beaten Pikmin 1 and 2 on to 3. Get it out of my system. Who where was that? Let me see if I can find the website. It was it was not your typical it was not G2A or Green Man Gaming. I will try to find it. I don't know if I recommend it because people be, they do be saying sometimes you get scammed, but I didn't get scammed, so. Let me see if I can find another one. Total War. Warhammer 3, Steam Key, United States. Yeah, they got it for like 45 on here. I'll type it in here. You could shop at your own risk. Uh, you know, it's kind of like eBay. You just got to trust the seller and make sure that the reviews are not fake. If they have a lot of ratings, that's probably better for sure. You know. Luckily, I took the risk, though. I did not get scammed at all. Also, they got codes for like, one second. They got codes for like the first two games for like 10 bucks. It's pretty good. They got Hogwarts Legacy keys at $46 already. That's crazy to me. They have Fortnite keys for... I didn't even know you could do that. Cosme they have keys for cosmetics now? What the heck? You 
Yeah, I know. You got keys for like Total War 2 at like $10. It's like even if you get scammed three times and get a legitimate code on the fourth one, that's still cheaper than the official release, which is absurd. All right, back to Krita. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's scrub through. This is a bad one. Also, Krita has been prone to crashing recently. I think, uh, I don't think it was meant to have this many individual keyframes on a whatever on a tween on an animation curve let's just freaking see how it looks I gotta see where this goes wrong here there's like a little thing right right when does that have it Nah, I gotta stop that. Stop. I don't know how to use this program. It's got like, ah, uh, it's just so weird. This is Gravity Rush music, by the way. In case you were curious. So many glasses of water up here, I should be fine. There's like a little bit here where it like goes back a little too long. But I recognize the tune, it's just a good soundtrack. There's like a, what, which frame am I looking at that looks so weird? Maybe it's just all of them. Wait, no, I see, I seen it, I saw it in there, I gotta find it. What the heck, is this a Splatoon track? What the hell am I listening to? This, this, this is Splatoon, you, you, I'm being pranked right now. Come on out, guys. This is a Splatoon track. You snuck it into the Gravity Falls soundtrack. <laughs> You're not getting me again with this. breakdown trying to remember where my mute key was right there for a second. I was pressing control T enter shit and I was, oh yeah it's the apostrophe. Okay so now we can I do like how this like the transform mask has all its keyframes aligned on its layer. <laughs> the world goes black. So if you click on a different layer, it's just, you know, it's all clean. It's a clean slate. That I actually do appreciate. I don't have to worry about all these if I'm on here. I do forget how to add a transform mask, though. I just figured it out, though. Huh. I must be a genius. So we have... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Must me let's see, um So if we go here, the file is and then we got here. 
Actually, let's scrub through this and figure out where our... This is our furthest frame. Frame 14, it looks like. Yeah, frame 14. I think. Yeah, it's frame 14. Okay. So, on frame 14, we would want our... How do we create, create a duplicate frame? Now we go to animation curve, and then we go to frame. No, okay, hold on. <laughs> I'll figure this freaking software out. That did not work. Okay, um... Real blank frame? No, that's not how you do it. I've forgotten everything already. <laughs> Insert hold frame, brother. What am I doing? Uh, we might have to revisit the old tutorial video for a second, because <laughs> I don't even remember how to get this thing to create a node. Stop being the way that you are. Transform mass. Yes. Not locked. Why don't we go back for a second? Um, how to end it? This should not be as difficult as it is. Part of it is my fault for not retaining anything. In this tutorial, yeah, I'll yeah, show yeah. you how to animate frame by frame. I'm sure you will. Ninja. Onto a layer. So here I've got my head group, and then transform mask right here. So you can actually see I can talk that applies a transformation. So make sure you have your trans this add keyframe button right here. Uh, it's right there. Okay. And check. It's right here. This is the keyframe button. It's so intuitive. You know how it looks like a line with a dot in the middle and a plus naturally the universal sign for keyframe. Like the symbols outside of a men's and women's bathroom. Everyone understands that this means keyframe. Oh, yo, yo. Give me a key. 14. Why isn't it a key? Why isn't it anything intuitive? It's just a line with a dot. What does that mean? Is it because of this? Is this what you think I would associate with a keyframe? Oh, also we're in the freaking pleasure district of the soundtrack. Let's go. Alright. I'm gonna see how this looks. Mm, I don't know if I like that. We gotta offset it actually. Um. It really doesn't like there being. It's taking so long to render each playthrough. This is terrible. 
That looks slightly more like what I had in mind, but I think we need to space this out more. Because we do need to offset it so it looks more natural. Man, is this how... I can't imagine if I was a 3D animator, I'd be doing all this and I'd be afraid to press the render button to see what it looked like. No, that's like a little too offset. This is working a lot more smoothly than the freaking file for some reason. Maybe it's um, too exaggerated of a movement. Make it a little more subtle. It's literally impossible. Just like a just like a pixel, my guy. More natural though, I think it needs more force in the throat. Does it need more? I wanted it to be kind of subtle, but I don't know if I had to straddle this. If I had a nickel, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. That's the meme. I said the meme. Maybe it's the. Maybe it's not rotating. Maybe it's uh, moving horizontal is what we need. I need to delete this keyframe. Remove the keyframe. Okay, so we just have this. Let's just move it. No, I'm just scrubbing through freaking. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? Why must you be the way that you are? Well, let's try this. Oh, that's interesting. It's, 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 uh, no, you need to play the whole thing, please. No, it would be moving in the direction of the file. Because that would be where the force is going. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, physics teacher. Is there like a transform a layer or selection? What do you think I've been doing? Okay, that I just, for some reason, if you're not on the transform tool, you can move it horizontally. But if you are, then it just cycles through the frames, whatever. I am almost done complaining about this software. Now that looks weird. Where's the history window on this freaking software? Alright, now we're back to stationary. Perhaps we should stay here where it is safe. His arm some wobble. Yeah, I need to need to figure out what level of that I want and where it's gotta be. 
There's got to be very small amount of wobble. And then, um... I think we'll move it over like a pixel, up and to the right, like a pixel. We'll see how that fares. And we'll see. Let's check it out. Well, that just didn't even work. Uh, maybe it didn't. Here, try again. No, you didn't do it. You didn't even do it. Wait, but it did. Oh, I see what's happening. Why is that what it's decided to do? Interesting. Maybe we could just, well, press Control Z enough times and we'll get back to where we had it, which is preferable to where we are right now. Alright, we're back here, I think. Now, if we just move the sleeve, maybe it'll look more natural. So let's try that on for size. Uh, get yourself a transformation mask. Now we start moving this on frame seven, no eight. And there you go here, or frame eight, or in here. Well, actually, no, this is where we create the start point, which I remember is here. Uh, and then we go, and it starts, or it's at its maximum at frame 17. The frame 17, control this. You know, when the program feels like it. Take your time. All right, enough time, please. I didn't uh, actually I didn't have any asset creation beyond uh, uh, that's hardly noticeable <laughs> good enough for me and then we return to it uh, now that's here this is the file this is the hand we return on frame 52 because that is the arbitrary number I have decided it will be on. Paste the keyframe. And then play for me the animation. Uh, it takes longer every, <laughs> every animation curve you add. There's 10 seconds just to preview this dang thing now. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we do need more force. If we want this arm wobble to be convincing, I think it just needs more force in the file. Force in the file. But as you can see, yeah, what I have created in the file layer is a, a bit of a nightmare. Actually, looks pretty good, though. Thank you. Um, how do we get more force in the file? Our farthest point is frame 14. Um, maybe if we just... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I think it might be these... these frames. Remove frame and pull. Oh, remove and pull is interesting, but I think I might mess up everything I've ever done. Let's see. Because now everything's offset by a frame. So let's not... Let's not do that. If this looks bad, let's not do that.
Also, we have to remember to make sure this chain syncs up. Is there a way to reduce the number of frames in the pushing motion? Yeah, I think I just did that. Let's let's remove some of the other ones. Cut the keyframe. Keyframe, remove keyframe, remove and pull. If, what if we just keep removing and pulling? Remove all those start frames and see what happens. Oh, now it's getting wacky, bro. Alright, so <laughs> let's try and fix these. And if this doesn't work, then we can just go back to where we was. Oh, then <laughs> the software crashed. I don't even remember when I last saved. Ah, oh, Christ. I should have known. Yeah, my I can't open you, Krita, if you're being this way. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's a bit of a fucking nightmare. <laughs> This calls for some music. No way, this is the wrong version. I need the official version, please. Oh, they have an autosave. Let's see what their autosave did. Let's see here. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too far away. All right, cut the cut the track. I was being overly dramatic. Let's go back to Gravity Rush. I like when I look up relaxing gravity blank music. <clears throat> I, I just get gra Gravity Falls comes up before that. And it's like, that's a good show, but I don't recall it ever having like a, <laughs> like a relaxing OST. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I don't remember. I was too busy focusing on the characters. Because that show is good. Alright, I was removing and pulling. Yeah, no one knows what Gravity Rush is. Even Sony doesn't know it. And they're making a movie. They're making a Gravity Rush movie, allegedly. And we, we haven't seen the head nor tail of it. So I don't freaking know what they're trying to frame and pull here. We need a three so damn bad. I just want anything. Anything is good. All right. Um. Play, play me out. I think the is I think the, I think it's too offset the uh, the arm wobble, as it were. Let's move it here. Maybe a couple frames ought to save it. Let's play it again. <laughs> nah, I don't want a gravity rush. <laughs> Mobile, get careful what you wish for. It's good that you specified that. this back a couple frames too. I mean these streams are easier in the sense that half of it is just me waiting for these loading bars to get out of the way <laughs> so I don't really need to do a whole lot for most of it. Let's move it back another frame because I'm picky.
That was nice. I gotta move this leaf again, though. Because it decided it was just gonna die. Where are we on the... The hand is at its farthest point on frame 15 now. So we'll go to frame 15. And we'll go here. And we'll control 2. And we'll rotate. Actually, we'll get a loading bar. The other arm is rotating at the wrist. I think it's because the sleeve isn't going to be able to move yet. The arm wobble should rotate more at the elbow. That is true. It is the point of... Um, Point of rotation. I, you, know, you know what? We're gonna go back and we're gonna fix that right now. So we got this. Uh, get this frame out of here. Get out. Okay. So the frame. Hey, I said get out of here. What I say? How do I? Can I just press the delete key and have all my dreams come true? No. Uh, remove the frame. You get back over there. Frame 15. We can do this, we have the technology. We can take this point and put it down here. Ideally. Oh, look at that, it worked. Beautiful. Let's try that one. Oh, that's so good. Look at that, it's bloody perfect, isn't it? That's a bang up job that one all right let's try this load darn you oh look at that that's what we're looking for that's what it's all about Woo! yeah baby all right And now we just gotta do the same thing for the chain. We just have to make it look nice. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but... Also, did I move this leaf? I did not move this leaf. Wait, did I move this leaf? This leaf, are you moving? No, this leaf is not moving. It's just because the arm is moving. Right, so it still looks connected, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> that is important. Are, are these the ones? They is the ones, okay. That was a byproduct of uh, my lack of foresight. Unfortunately, that's how it's gotta be. All right, transform mask. Oh, uh, and then frame. I'm getting lost in my own sauce here. I gotta, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I did, a little too late, but I did. This is the arm. On frame 15, it reaches maximum extension. Okay. So you just gotta... We could actually just move it into place. No, wait. Do we have to rotate it? Ooh, this is gonna be difficile. Let's just see what happens if we move... What is that? What is this funky little maneuver that's going on? That's just the current quality of my life. Um, uh, luckily I gave myself some... ...little... ...guidance markers here with the bits I forgot to erase. Uh oh, what do I do? Okay. Maybe easier to recut the layers that the link attached to the cup and the cup itself are just the same layer. Maybe. Maybe it would be. But I'm too lazy to do that. So we're just gonna see how this looks. <coughs> Oh, I didn't create a, a default keyframe. Whoops. Okay, let's... All that hard work. I gotta go here. I gotta go frame whatever. Uh, make keyframe. 
Now frame 15. And I gotta move it. As much as that may be the sucky new. I just want things to be easy. Is that too much? I'm just a small town southern lawyer. Usually. <laughs> This is Pokemon music. Hey, well, why are there two here? Why did this happen? I'm Control Z in until that one goes away. Okay, <laughs> I didn't like the look of that one bit. Why does that happen? Buy it. No, I refuse to buy Pokemons now. All of their starter Pokemon are bipedal now. Wait, this. When did this start moving? They're appealing directly to the furries, which they have never done before. And I can't agree with that. Pokemon has changed. <laughs> now let's try this. BRB. Play. Play the animation. No, that's actually not too bad if I just, you know, remember to put the other keyframe at the end. That's not too bad, actually. Play the keyframe. Put the at the end. I'm gonna stop doing that. Play me out, DJ. fix this so very easily. We can make it stronger. We just gotta fix this one keyframe and it'll all come into place. No, stop doing that. Regenerating cash. <laughs> I wish I could do that. I hope I muted that one. It's fine. I'm here by myself. For now. No one will ever watch this back.
Yeah, this is looking aight. I can only imagine how much the software is going to freak out when I start putting <laughs> transformation curves on these three links here. Now let me just think to myself for a g-dang second. So we can go to the file. I'm going to actually save what we've done so far. Okay, I've saved over what we had before. Perfect. Deedle, deedle, deedle. Um. What if we do this? How badly does that ruin everything? Let's check it out. Let's check it, check it out. That did add a bit more force to it, didn't it? But now I feel like we need a... Um... Oh my good lord. Now we gotta fix all this. What is all, what is one combination going on here? Would you please fix yourself? For Pete's sake, get that off you. Now, how about you try again?
sleeve now. Wait, have I... No, I was going to. Okay, now we can do this. Now we can do this. And then this, and then this, and this. And then this. And it seemed to work fine just moving it on down. Copy the keyframe, paste the keyframe to the end here. Bada 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 bing bada boom. That's how you animate, baby. It's so easy. A freaking toddler could do it. Uh, 14 seconds per preview. I'll never make this animation. sleeve moving that much. Did I crash the software? <coughs> don't like doing what it's doing right now. I can't even... <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this ridiculousness. Just change, just change a little bit. Yeah, my computer is so bad, <laughs> or this software is poorly optimized, one of the two. Maybe both. Just to render the thing.
I've been muted for like so long. <laughs> I don't even remember. Basically, I was just talking about how this is probably crashing my computer. <laughs> I mean, like, I think I heard the music stutter a couple times there. If my stream goes offline, you know what happened. Good God, it's just like, even zooming in and out is straining this program right now. Like, my God. It's so bad. What is happening? Ah. Oh. I've got Krita OBS open and my little avatar software. Oh, and uh, I have one Google Chrome tab open for music. I just don't know. Let's see how this looks. If I am able. I think move this up a couple pixels. Do it again. Is that freaking Thursday already, bro? Time flies when you're unemployed, I tell you. I'm just here doing, I'm just futzing around on these personal projects because nobody wants to give me money. I think that looks okay. See, now I'm even debating if I want to move these. I know I have to, to make the whole thing look more organic, but it's like, it's such a background element. It's hardly even noticeable. Like, the file, and the hand, and the chain, and the sleeve are going to be the main. And then when I add the sparks over top of it, like, I don't even know if I care enough to do that. <laughs> Looks pretty dang good, thank you. It's definitely better than I thought we would uh, get to, considering the, uh, the previous streams. Spark stuff, it'll sell the motion really well. Thank you for agreeing with me. <laughs> hey, didn't we already hear this? Are we just looping tracks now? You know what? I don't mind, because this one's good. Um, okay, so... And then we'll add the vignette. So we'll start... We have to... I think we actually have to hand animate the sparks, which will be interesting. Let's see, uh, get, get rid of this tweeting garbage. What am I, a flash animator? No. Although many of them are way more talented at animation than I am, so... I don't know why I'm talking smack right now. Um... I would have to adjust so many frames. I think I'm fine with it cutting into here as much as it is. Alright, new layer. And, uh, I don't freaking know. Let's just try. You, what you do is you create. Well, first we should do where the sparks would actually come out of them. I think they would start here. 
and we'll just eyeball that. Now you go to frame 8, and then what you freaking do is you create a blank frame, alright? Then you got it yourself. Then you get your brush. Then you, oh god, then you freak out. Now let's just pick a little paintbrush. I don't know, look up for anything too specific here. Let's make this bigger. Hey, I forgot you could like pressure sensitivity is crazy in this software. I will give it that. The pressure tracking in this software, it goes, it goes off. If you need, if you're into that, that'll this this will do it for you. <laughs> now I don't know why this is here. <laughs> And also here, it was my understanding that it would just only be on this one. <laughs> Let's just do something. This is not final, by the way. We are experimenting. Now I should turn on my onion skin, which I can do. Well. That's far too large. <laughs> this kind of looks like he just <laughs> cut himself accidentally. Maybe red wasn't the... I just picked it because it was complimentary to green. It looks like I just lacerated myself. Let's just see how that freaking looks, dude. Wait, then we got this. Then create a blank frame, and then there's nothing there. Okay. Let's just jump into it. <laughs> uh, I am hesitant. That's not even that bad. Yo! Am I just good at animating? What the fuck? Okay. I'm getting way too proud over three lines, but they did turn out pretty okay after the first attempt. I might just be freaking Shinkai over here. Ugh. <clears throat> Put me on that website. What's that one? Compiles all the Sakuga. Sakuga Buru or something. Okay, so uh, that was a test. And it turned out pretty good. I think some notes we're gonna want, obviously, a different color. What color are sparks? <laughs> I know they... Wait, what? Met, metal against metal? What color sparks would that be? Metal against metal sparks. Let's see if that e literally even gives me anything. Mostly yellow, white. Yeah, that's... See, it does appear to be... It's pretty uniformly white or yellow, actually, now that I'm looking. So yeah, you're right on that one. I'm not seeing much of anything else. You're really doing it. So sorry, I love animation. Yeah, I was trying. I'm brute forcing my way through this. Ain't no way I was giving up now. I'm at sunk cost fallacy levels. Also, hello, Sherry. 
I'm just looking at sparks at the moment. Oh, you know, mm, I wonder if they have... I wonder if it's even worth it, though, <laughs> to uh, add a bit of the blur effect. I saw... There's a new music video on um, Ninja Sex Party's channel. And it was like, I don't know what... I, I don't! Haven't you seen this? But you're learning as much as I am when I'm doing these streams. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Ninja Sex Party music video. There's this segment of this new music video. It's I Own a Car, if you're curious. We can just, I can throw it on, actually. I like that one. While I'm talking about it. But there's a segment in the animation where the uh, animator does this cool effect. You know what? Let's, let's just freaking watch it. I like watching stuff. There is, ooh, I need to see. You know what? We'll just freaking watch it right now. Um, to the browser. If I have it. It appears to be broken. Hold on, I gotta... <laughs> Freaking OBS brother. Why are you not functioning? Um, this one. There we go. Perfect. Excuse me, what is this resolution? <laughs> what am I, a chump? Get me in there. Oh, sorry to interrupt your beach party, everyone. Just thought I'd stop by with my car. Four wheels, one key, I must be truly blessed. Life is a school and I'm passing the test. Two working headlights, four functional seats, and get a load of these pedals that I can push with my feet. Look at this. It's literally that clip right there. Also, fantastic. Ever since they started collabing, I love everything they've been doing. But yeah, this is the old, this is the clip that I was that it really was just the reason I even brought it up. I'm sure they added like some mask layer to this, but I was like, if I could figure out how to do a glow effect on some liner for the sparks here, that would be interesting. This was literally the only reason I thought about it. So. Well, what the heck? You can scroll down while you're in full screen. What the heck? I never knew this. I didn't know you were just in a window. This is new information for me. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. Engine made of plumbing was pretty good. I do love that bit. Cup holder holds anything as long as it's a cup. That's a good one. Let's go to the Zelda playlist, just because I'm feeling 
adventure-y. Yeah, it's like a theater mode and my whole worldview is shattered. How can it be the full screen if there's more screen below that I can access, hmm? Riddle me that one. <laughs> that was good timing on that. Alright. To Krita, uh, I've died again. Bring me back. Bring me back! Okay. Okay, so yellowish sparks. Oh. Does this go per frame? No, it's the whole layer. Okay. That actually is helpful. I think I want the center one to be the longest one, because that just appears to be how sparks be doing things now that I've looked at reference for a bit. Of course, these are mostly with, like, metal grinders, but it seems pretty consistent that the sparks be longest in the center. It's like a fan shape. So we'll go with that. Okay. And uh, we can actually turn off onion skin for this, because it will serve as its own onion skin. Um, wait, hold on, I can do this. This is blue, so it goes into the greens, to the yellow, orange, and yellow. Okay. <laughs> you gotta give me one second. And they'll be the longest in the direction of the force of the friction interest. I hadn't considered it in that way. create a frame. Um, you go here, please. Thank you. I can't wait until I start doing hand animated projects, but that is going to have to wait until I get freaking Clip Studio EX or something. Anything but this, please. <laughs> I don't know if I could take it. Longest in the direction of the force of the friction, so it would actually be more like hua over there. This is what I should be doing. Putting sparks directly on my tattoo. This is kind of a weird direction for it, so... Let's just angle this pill shape thing over here. Get in there. Get, let me move. Let me move you. Emotionally. Draw the eye towards the words. Good point. We'll just use these, uh... It's more of an idea reference at this point, not a directional reference so much. How do I create a blank frame? Where is that? I don't have the option. Oh, there's already a frame here. Why is there already a frame here? Okay. Whatever, whatever, dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What? Oh, we can turn the onion skin on for this layer, though. Here we go. Yeah. 
Maybe if we shrank it. That's far too large, but I do like it. Let's run it, see what happens. No, it's just not... It's just too big. Man, the pressure sensitivity. It takes some getting used to. It's actually like too responsive for the pressure sensitivity compared to like Clip Studio. That might just be pure copium at that point, but it's like it feels true. It's like it's got too much variation. I'd have to re. Uh, I'd have to redo my settings on my actual tablet. Consistency is always nice when it comes to drawing tools. I mean, it's just like it's like super uh, You could go all over with this thing For some people this is probably like the best software they'd ever used if you're into this kind of workflow But I just I can't get down with it I like the sense of unpredictability and the lack of control there's simplicity in its complexity, and complexity in its simplicity. Pressure sensitivity is great, but when the sensitivity ain't working right, it makes me want to shoot through my arm. All right, let's take let's take a gander. First, I'm gonna save before I even try to render this. I'm gonna save. You're not gonna do me like that, Krita. Not again. Fancy. That is a doobie looking nice, I think. Now I can make one of those annoying Reddit posts that's like, first time animating ever, guys, is it good? I, I hate those so much. They're usually like, first time illustrating digitally, guys, and it's like professional grade. It's like, brother, I can tell you've been oil painting for like 38 years, and you're just coming on here like, this is my first ever digital painting. So what are you looking for? What do you want? How are you going to make the sparks come out of the duration of the file scrape? I think it'll just be a loop. This is a small sketch on 4T. <laughs> I will strangle you. I will find it with my thin, noodly arms. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be more uncomfortable than it is terrifying or threatening. It'll, but it'll change your life for the worse. So, what do you mean uh, for the duration of the file scrape? Hit something on my desk. Clarify, please. I need clarification. Mm 
<laughs> While you're typing that, or not typing it, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, the sparks are being made by the teeth contacting the metal link. And there are teeth along the length of the file, so sparks should be made continuously as long as the file is being dragged across the link. Oh, you mean like on the return as well? Like here? Oh, look at that. I could do a funny little thing here. Or pushed, I mean. Yeah, drag was the wrong. Teeth along the length of so Park should be made continuously so the files we dragged but are pushed across the link. So you mean like in this area? Just like on the return? That I should add more of them or something? Yeah, okay, yeah, I could see it. In that case, I could just add more of them. Now on the push, hmm, I don't... I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it shouldn't just be one spark, I guess is what I'm saying. I get you. I got it. I feel like... Yeah, some of them would just have to, like, start around here. And then, um, well, this is like the quickest part of the return motion here. It's like in these areas. So it might be, yeah, we might just have to add a couple before the main three show up here. Look at that. So yeah, I think I'll just add a couple more before and after on this quicker return here. That should be fine. Let's, uh... We can actually delete this layer now. We'll need that. And now, we can put it here. That would work, I figure. I think it'll work out. Alright. When do we want to start it, though? Uh, this here, this, this is where the bigger motions start happening. So we'll, I think we could do it here. Alright, let's do this one. And you can uh, hide yourself. Ah, the zoom in function is so bad. We'll just keep the same timing that we did for the other layer, because that seems to work out pretty good. Uh, should we actually have this visible, I think? Yeah, we should. Um, then, we in, then we have it in between here. I say that like I know what I'm talking about. And since this was from a point in the animation where there's less force being applied, just a little bit, maybe this uh, spark shouldn't travel as far. I'm trying to use critical thinking, and it's a new skill I'm not quite used to.
Is that Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel any good? I keep seeing people on my Steam friends list boot it up. Alright, let's control s and then take a gander. What is this frame, anyway? Why would you ask me that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you don't know! <laughs> what happened? What have I done? Cherry will help. I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. Oh, okay. I thought I was. I thought I was about to get destroyed with facts and logic. Excuse me, animation. I request that you play. Oh wait, hold on. There's a plan. I gotta do this. Blank frame. Also, it looked a little weird, so uh, let's try again. It was like I didn't know who I was living with the day I found out Steve knew nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Which was like six months ago. I'm so sorry you had to come to this revelation. And then we'll start another one. Last game I played was Eternal Duelist Soul, though, so I have no hell either. It will inevitably lead to our separation. Start the next one here. What about uh, Magic the Gathering? How about what about that one? We know anything about MTG? Did magic for a bit? Yeah, I too did that for a little bit. We dabbled. I do like magic. Steve hates my decks. What are you, uh, are you a blue type runner? You run blues? Those are the decks I hate. Anyone with a blue deck that piss me off today, <laughs> so... Yeah, <laughs> I knew it immediately. Be running blue green decks every turn takes about four years to. <laughs> I knew it was blue green. <laughs> Let me read you four essays about what's gonna happen to you this turn. Oh, buddy. I myself ran some uh, some red white decks. Those were pretty fun. It resolves. <laughs> I've been blue green since I was thirteen. Overwhelming numbers and aggression, eh? Yeah, I do like the big number. Actually, big number is like, um... 
just like true green or something. I do like just throwing units at people and buffing them repeatedly. It's pretty cool. The art on white mana. Let me see if I um if I can get any specific decks that I used. I don't think I had. Uh, I played um. I, I used uh, like some old card because I, I got all the decks I had from my sister. My older sister, so I have no idea if they were any if there were any actual <laughs> meta strats in those. Here's the best red white deck archetypes. Let me see if I recognize any of these. Tokens. I did use token decks. Burn decks are so cringe, I would never. I did, I played the heroic archetype, that was fun. Equipment is also very good, very good archetype. Heavy green units smack do big green. Those are those are fun decks. My success rate with those were mixed to say the least. But yeah, red white is probably my main, I would say. What if we just... Now what if that is the blank frame? Remove the keyframe, okay. Let's just see how this looks. First we save. Eventually I think we had a pure black graveyard deck that kept winning and sucked all the fun out of it. That'll happen. Graveyard decks are annoying. <laughs> Even in Yu-Gi-Oh! graveyard decks. So we haven't played in a while. Graveyard decks are just a hard thing to balance, historically. It was awful. <laughs> well, maybe now that I have these other sparks showing up, we can erase one of the, the three here. I think it's a little much. So let's get rid of one of these. But which one do we get rid of? Probably the bottom one. He's not really inspiring me right now. And so he will die. Okay, so that'll do that. <clears throat> Harsh, I don't know, it's just gotta have. What do you think, Sto? Does this look better, or did we just like it when it was three? <laughs> I don't know. I think it works in its own way. Let me zoom out here. Let me zoom out real far. Let me zoom out too far. Let me zoom back here. Now this is better? Alright, all right. I'm here for second opinions. Let's save that up then. We can uh, import our vignette now. I don't even have Clip Studio Paint open, so let's do that without hopefully my computer dying and exploding and killing me in the process. My, uh, my case is plastic though, so the shrapnel will not be too deadly, I don't think. Bling dong shut up, Fi. I know my Wii Remote batteries are low. That would be quite the crash. <laughs>
my software failed so hard that I died. I wonder if that's ever, that's for sure happened. Someone doing autopilot on a plane. That's, that's, that's gotta be at least a scenario where that would, where that would result in a death, I'm sure. Oh yeah, I can take you guys into my world. We, uh, no, I can't. There it is. Okay. So we have this one, and I took the sleeve out. So we might have to do a new vi vignette. When World of Warcraft was at its height, <laughs> absolutely. I think we need to have a reference point. I can't find my cursor. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Now the Pokemon trading card game, since we were talking about it, anyone played that? Because it's actually very similar to Magic now that we were talking about it, in many ways I feel. Skyward Sword may not have been very good, but its themes were some of the strongest. I think Skyward Sword gets it a little too harsh from everyone <laughs> in the world. Never seriously. I never played it seriously either, but messing around with it. I think it is a pretty f interesting concept for a card game. Where you have to claim your defeated opponent's cards. Have lots of cards though, don't we all? I think everyone in the world has at least one Pokemon card. Nomadic tribe in Africa probably got a Pokemon card. At least one. Let's export this as PNG. I could probably just make the vignette in Krita, but I have learned my lesson <laughs> trying to do things. At least. Maybe even a full binder. Alright, I've made the vignette. Time to import it. Alright, you have to do you have to drag it from your file menu. Just another reason. To, be, to just be weird. I knew this would happen, but that's why we have this. Wow. Okay. Chero's almost got a complete set of the original 151st Prince. Yo, that's pretty sick. I think the... Well, what is it? The rarest one I got... Um... Let me see if I can find it. I don't have a shadowless, but I do have uh, one of these. I got one of these bad boys. It is in, it is in much better condition than this one. I can tell you that, like, bro, what are you even holding this up with the plastic clamps? This is prize. It is a holographic one too. So that one's pretty cool. What an absolute unit. Look at this hulk of a man, of a creature. Ah. Uh. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse there I am. Hello, hi. All right, back into the critter menu. So the vignette. Yeah, don't start calling it a man. It's a slippery slope. I, there's no laws against the Pokemon, Batman. 
That's how we got low pony. <clears throat> and so we have the vignette. And when the sparks happen, we can actually we can lower the opacity in multiple ways. Actually, I, we, I had another one. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll import both. So let's head on back over to Clip. And then I had this one, which is just kind of like over the top, vaguely. So I will do that. And that one will be the one that we alter, uh, that we alter for the flicker effect. Also known as Vignette 2. The sequel to Vignette. And then we go back here. Set that to multiplication. It's very dark, a little too dark for my taste. This ain't your grandpa's vignette. It's an edgy remake, like the Winnie the Pooh movie that just came out. It's apparently a terrible horror movie from what I've heard. The revignetting. I think it should flicker with the main two, I think. Oh, that just creates a blank frame. Then you pays for the entire sea, but you only need the edge. Copy keyframe, paste the keyframe. Let's just see how that looks. If there's like no easing in or out of the flicker effect, let's just see how it looks. Light is usually pretty quick. I don't know if you guys know this. Kind of hard to track it from one point to another when it's doing stuff. We kind of named a, a measurement of distance purely based on how fast it moves. So let's just see how this looks. I didn't even do anything. Excuse me. Play the thing. Thank you. Fifteen seconds for this little loop here. Oh, oh God. Golly, mister. I don't know. I'm pretty fast. It's not terrible, but it is, uh, it is abrupt, to say the least. <laughs> what is this? I can't reach it. Why did I think that would take me somewhere? I just wanted to see what would happen. That's not a real game. I was wondering. <laughs> I feel like it should flicker more than go on and off. Yeah, but like... <laughs> so we delete this. Delete this, please. Move this one here. And then what you... What, okay, we have calmed down. I didn't know it would do that. Does this affect the whole layer again, or is this per frame? This is the entire layer. Uh, I know that the guy... My joke. <laughs> I remembered something crazy. Okay. Need another keyframe back all over yonder. Now this is going to be tricky because I have three different points of light generation. Some of them are over. I feel like we've gotten a little too ambitious again. <laughs> but we'll try. We'll try at least once. Mm. 
make another one here. And then we'll go here, and then the opacity uh, goes fucking somewhere. What is this? Is this, oh, is this how you lower opacity? What does this slider mean? How do you convey opacity in a two in a, like a two-dimensional space? I don't understand. I'm used to linear progression of opacity. <laughs> Oh, it does, it does do a thing. All right, let's see. This is gonna be so similar to what we just had, but let's see. That was a little better. I think... We, t we tighten up the graphics on level 3 a little bit. Yeah, it's looking better. Now we can go for the first point of significant light generation, which would be here. We could create another keyframe. And this would be the first one. Time of the graphics on level three. That's so funny that the advertisement sticks with me to this day. Just an absolute sham of a video game <laughs> teaching institution. They weren't even trying. They'll just go tighten up the graphics on level three. Yeah, that's a real thing people do. Shut your mouth. And if worse comes to worse, we could always just delete it. Guy looked like he was coding with an Xbox gamepad for guts. He's just the QA tester and the programmer and the 3D modeler. I don't know. It's like the sun is peeking through on here. Maybe this is too bright. We'll just bring this one up like a little bit, like just a teensy. Oh god, he, he, this dude was right. That who made that tutorial? This menu is buggy as hell. All right, and then this is the final point of light generation, right here. So we can go here, make a keyframe here. Immediately after, we can make another keyframe. Oh, help, let me click and drag, please. Just let me do it, thank you. Somehow, some way, we are learning. If we are evolving. Let's try it. <clears throat> I think the needs to be even more subtle on the first flicker. Subtlety is in the name here. It is looking pretty good. I just want to make it a little light. We can, um, yeah, make it more specific. I'm jealous of this starting soon, Scooby. Glad to hear it. Not the jealousy, but the fact that you like it. But also the jealousy. <laughs> Let me move things, please. Thank you. Just a fun idea, and it's looking good, too. Appreciate it. I think it is coming along well. Oh, so, so, like so many of these. 
I was I had just planned on slapping them together. The avatar, the offline screen, and this. They've all followed the same mentality of like, I'll just throw it. Throw it together, see what happens. And then I spend uh, far more time than I anticipated on them. I'm just lucky I didn't delve headfirst into this avatar. I was, I was thinking about being one of those people that uh, makes multiple expressions for their dude. But I don't think I want to do that quite yet. Maybe later. I think it needs to be even more subtle is the thing. It's just like I want it to be so subtle, you know? Maybe if these are the uh, points of the baseline, yeah, I think I'm seeing the issue that I have with it right now. These need to be up higher. This needs to be up much higher. This needs to be up a little higher. If it'll let me move it. Please. Let me move the points. Alright, so that should be better. Let's control C. Play! On the first. It's all. It is this first one. You know what I think it is? I think it's because there's so much distance between this and this that it's tweening it more noticeably than the other one. So I think if we just make this like virtually undetectable. Just like so slight. Let's see how that looks. Maybe even a little bit more. Do I have to stop this first? I probably do. Just, 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 just a touch. Frame is this, by the way? Is it like frame ten or something? Frame eleven. Let's play it again. I really just, I think I am just a sucker for trying to get it so hardly noticeable. Yeah, you regenerate the cash, why don't you? I don't think it's as uh, noticeable on the third one now. I think we can make that. And then I think once we get this ready... I think it's looking neat. Now we can worry about these. Or we can choose to not worry about those. <laughs> I don't know if I care enough to worry about those. The chains in the background there. Because, like, it's already taking 15 seconds to render every time I preview these dang things. And I'm going to have to put... Could make them a secondary movement. Yeah, that's the thing. I just don't know. Because what I did... Is I have each link on a separate layer. I could just merge all of them if it becomes easier. But the idea was to just, like, move it slightly with the arm. But I just don't quite know how I'm going to do that. 
Especially without exploding my PC, apparently. <laughs> We could just take it one link at a time. And they would only move about as much as the arm does. Isn't there like a folder I can put all this stuff in? Um, I think at this point I'm just mentally working my way up. This seems quiet. Can I move? bump this up? My musics. You know, the artwork for this is crazy. I didn't know what is going on. Alright, so... This is this one. Let's start with link number three. Number three. So, you know what we can do? If I don't like it, I'll just save as a second version. So we always can fall back to what we got right now. So this starts moving on frame six. No, not six. Frame five. Peaks at 15 and then returns to frame 52. Six. 15. No, five. 15. And then 52. Okay. All right, this is in, um, wait a minute. What Why is this one not letting me do all the other stuff here? Maybe it's just because I need to, um... So then at 15, it would be wherever it's gonna be. Uh, transform... No, don't do that. Don't do that. You always do that. We're just innocent men. seem to have worked at all. I said frame 15. Go to frame 15. Alright, we have gotten it to frame 15. And now... I don't know why this one is, uh... Is it because they're... They're all PNGs. So why could I... Curious as to why I could animate the. Oh, I didn't have the transform mask. That's my issue. 
I remember. Okay, get all this out of here. It took me a second. What you got is what you got in the trees. Found it like a king. A king with early onset dementia. There it is, boy. And then take me all back to frame 52. Is there a way to shrink this down? Like, my god. Why? I'm hovering. Tell me what this does. Do I gotta use my stylus pen? I'm not clicking on this until I know what it does. Alright, you got me. I'm clicking on it. It didn't appear to do anything. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know what that did. No, it did the thing again. Okay. It just returns to that. Let's just freaking try it on for size then, shall we? Oh, it's taking so much longer just because I added one more. <laughs> one more transform mask. Yikes. I might have to finish this off stream <laughs> if it's going to keep doing this. Doesn't look that bad though. I do like that I've obscured this little chain link for like 90% of the animation, so you can't even check if I synced it up to anything because I didn't. But you can't see that. Ooh. Okay, so then we can add another one. Hey, are Frame 5. We create the keyframe. Hey, which one is this? Oh, I added two transform masks to the same link. Okay, one second. Oh god, it's it's buffering. The the software equivalent. It crashed. <laughs> okay. Um, I probably could close Clip Studio again. This is feeling like a Corel stream, dude. <laughs> I don't even remember what... <laughs> Where did it save or at this point? Let me see. Uh, we do got this here. It's, it seems the autosave is very generous, so I do appreciate that. That is good. Let's just see where we left off. Regenerate the cache. The feds could never. Uh, 
Uh, all right, so it seems it's it's right where we left off. Let me let me save this again just to make sure. Okay, it's good. Now we go to this one. Fi, shut up! God, even just your song makes me realize that you speak too much. Such a soothing song for such an annoying character. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. I feel like they had to make it a soothing song. Just because even they were probably getting angry developing her. Hold on one second. heard my neighbors outside and I thought someone was in my home. They are being so loud. Never played Skyward Sword. I'm gonna though. It's uh, I'd say it's worth it. For all its flaws, it is still a Zelda game, so you know. It's still pretty good. I love Fi's theme. I also like it. It's a shame that she's Fi and that it's hers. You know, it's got a banger song. In the Zeldaverse, Linebeck. This guy. <clears throat> Probably should have started the animation with half of it off screen, but we can move after it renders. I need to start wearing this posture brace I got. Harness, whatever you want to call it. While I'm streaming, I just I keep noticing I, I'm in such a shrimp formation. Now this looks strange, so... No, maybe it would happen after. Get over there. Just some other frame. Frame 18, why not? Also, that is Linebeck's theme. I should never have listened to that Jazz Ghibli playlist. It's always in my recommended. No, I'm not going to listen to it again. It was funny the first time. But I refuse. Don't go, don't go, don't I think the positioning of this frame needs to be a little different. Just a wee bit.
Might need to change it even more. So glad I decided to remake the assets in Clip Studio and just move them over. Such a better idea than trying to brute force them in here. Twenty seconds. Twenty one seconds. Oh no, you're not chain link three yet. Twenty two you freaking you monsters. I don't know if that is quite the motion I'm looking for. I think that maybe the rotation is not part of it. I think what I've done is I've rotated it when I should not have rotated. That might be my issue. Rotate back, please. Or maybe I've rotated it in the wrong direction. Let's try that. Mm, I guess it doesn't hurt to see. I was going to say no, but we haven't even seen what it looks like yet, so let's try. That actually does make a bit more sense. I think that looks good. I think when we have the third link in, it'll look good. It'll look better, even. And I don't remember how much of this link I even drew. Let me actually see how much of it is there. Oh, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> I might need to redo that. So that there's more. Unless it's just going to move to the right, which it might. This one is this one. This one is this one. So this will dictate its movement, which begins on frame 5. 18 and 52. Add another transform mask. Really just strain that CPU as much as you can. Add a keyframe on 5 and 18 and 52. All this work for like a one, one and a half second loop. Oh. Pay those animators more, you cowards. <laughs> Let's just see how it looks. First we save. The best part about tween animation is you can just delete the transform mask and you still have the layer. Very handy. <coughs> might be a bit much yet again though so let's go back and we fix it 
this blooming rotation. I don't know why I keep trying to rotate things, but evidently it just should not be rotated. Maybe like a pixel. Just a teeny little bit. Uh, yeah, you render your cash. does need that rotation. Maybe I should just go back and make the fill out the link a bit more. I keep saying link a lot and then there's Zelda music playing in the background and I want you to know I have also been thinking that every time I say it. It has not escaped my brain. Overclock mode on. I don't know. I gotta zoom in and then we can get into the fine details. Yeah, I think I do gotta go back and, uh... Well, actually, if I... I can probably... Do I trust Krita, though? Not particularly. Digi-modify. Now, you wanna talk about Anthro stuff, Digimon's freaking ridiculous. You talk about Pokemon, low punny, no, 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 the slippery slope was Digimon, and they, they fell off it a long time ago. Slipped right off into that ravine. There's some of those Digimon that are just literally a dude. Andrew, <laughs> I don't wanna talk about Anthro stuff, I know! I know your strict stance on it, Renamon. Heck yeah. Or heck no, I don't even know how to feel about it. Sakyamon, yeah. Liam. You made that clear when you made your Discord servers a very anti furry location. No furries allowed. Beelzemon. Beelzemon was freaking sick, though. Let's be real. Let's not kid ourselves. Digimon. Um... Now here's a thing. Hold on, I'll get there. Some of you, and by some of you I mean probably Cheru. <laughs> the character is not intentional, but I did appreciate the benefits. Character growth, oh, and also causing one to set for a month. Not quite Anthros, because their spirit evolutions are right now. Here's what I was going to bring up. Now, this is a Digimon. His name is Bakemon. Now, Digi Evolu or Digivolving. And all of that. It is known for causing dramatic changes between uh, the first form of a Digimon and its later forms. Now, if I had to ask you, 
if you don't know, what the dramatic change to this character is when it turns into its its fabled second form. What do, what do you think would change? You might think it just it probably goes it gets like a mech suit or something like that. Maybe it grows like extra limbs. Maybe it becomes hot for no reason. Maybe it becomes even uglier. Does it obtain breasts? That's a good guess. It's a, that is a common thing that they would do in Digimon. But I'm here to show you. This is its second form. <laughs> this is Soulmon, the true Bagemon, the powerful successor. As you can see, it now comes with hat. And it looks like it was uh, stapled on there via clip art. <laughs> I love this one so much. The Hat of Destiny. <laughs> it's like two different art styles too, which is the funniest part. So that's all I wanted to bring up about Digimon. Oh, I read. Looks like when it was just painted over the other, I know. <laughs> it looks so bad, which is why I love it. Um, actually, what if we... Can I just move all the... Let's... Hold on. I have to, I have to think with my brain, which is no, it's new for me. This is up here, so if we go here... Uh, to this, and we just move it all down. With my mind brain. Can we just move this layer down so it's not doing that? And then have our transform mask follow suit? <laughs> okay, I'm back. I couldn't keep track of my muting, so I just had to double check. <laughs> Oh no, it does it does some weird stuff what I did. Alright, let's uh Let's just try it again, make sure it's back on track. I might just ignore it. Maybe I'll vignette it a little heavier. Excuse me, <laughs> did you just give up regenerating the cat? Did you just give up? I asked you to perform a function, computer. It shall not be neglected again. I appear to have done something <laughs> wrong. Oh, it's because I'm hiding this. Alright, try it. Try it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Animating's hard. It's never your computer is like, nah. I d mine does this all the time. I don't know how to... I gotta teach it some manners. Oh, or maybe I just need to get a new one, because this computer is from 2012. Yeah, it looks alright. What are the soft brushes like in this software? Probably Garbo. That's mean, but also, it's probably true. <laughs> Right. 
can hardly even notice the flicker just as I wanted it to be. But it is there if you look for it. I think I will just choose to ignore this. <laughs> I might just put some shadow over it. Doodly -dly. Do -do -do. And then after we do that, I think I can um, pretty much call it call it a success. New layer. Oh, we have gradients. Yo, yeah, full. How do I do that? Cannot transform empty layer. I didn't want. Add. Yo, there's gradients in here. How do I use them? to not want to let me it's not let this tool only works on vector layers well god do the brush you eejit all right there we go how do i use gradients in crito oh that's how you do that i'm just using the brush tool now i gotta look this up <clears throat> how to Left click dragging this tool over the active portion of the canvas will draw out the current gradient. What do you think I was doing? It didn't work. Alright, it says press G. <gasps> They're right. Okay. Ooh. Now, how do I get that to be a different color? What is this? Patterns, yo. Ew. And that's still the gradient tool. How do I do the patterns? Now I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> I need to stop it. They got photo bashing just built into it. That's nice. If I knew how to use this, this would be real nice. Gradients. Um, there's got to be one that had just defined by your color. Whoa! Oh, this is a different document. How did these get open? Thank you. That's probably not helping things render. There's two other documents that were just open. Foreground to transparent. So what's my foreground color? Foreground color selector. Let's do that. What is this? This color wheel is broken. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> uh, you can choose from dark gray. Oh, over here is a nice dark gray. Of oh, and over here you got your dark gray. You can't forget that one. Green into blue into purple. Okay. I'm remembering. And then what you do is you set it to multiply. And then you shrink it all down with the opacity. And then uh, do I got, I got the eraser. What do they have? Soft eraser. Evidently not with that. Why is it so hard to... Oh, it's probably because you gotta... Gotta go to the brush tool, and that's so weirdly specific. 
Do they got like a soft eraser tool or what? I just, oh, this one I guess. What is that now? That's like a kneaded eraser. We'll see. Just make it real big. Set it to normal actually so I can see what I'm doing. Now that is doing a thing. Nice. Okay. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Alright, let's play it. Let's see what happened. tell that I've gotten lazy with how dark it is over there now. Love it. Oh, there's a state of play happening right now? Crazy. Oh, my stream should be ending soon anyway. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? Well, in light of recent news <laughs> that I have just discovered right now, I think we can save this Apparently, yeah. Max just went live, and it said state of play in the title. <laughs> Let me save this as an... Uh, well, actually, I should export it. File export as an MP4. What do we got in here? All supported formats. They don't appear to have... Raid, Matt, yeah, I'll do that for sure, brother. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Maybe export advanced. Render the animation? That is probably what you got. You probably got to render it as an MP4. Starts in 30 minutes. All right, I got time. Thank goodness. Still the pre-stream, thank goodness. file format. Can you only export these as image sequences? <clears throat> the music is sick though. Shut up, Zelda. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate frame by frame in Krita, as well as how to draw your export animation for YouTube. Not quite, buddy. And then once we're all done, let's see how it looks by exporting. Because because it's NBC. So the first thing we're gonna want to get before we can export animation in Krita is FFmpeg. So if you search for FFmpeg, the first result should be the correct one. So it's FFmpeg.org. What the heck is this guy going off on? For exporting animation from Krita. Why? So the way the website looks for me, there's a big download button right here. We're just I need gonna click on that. other software. All right, we can do this off stream. I was thinking I could do it on stream, but uh. <laughs> for whatever operating system you're using, I'm using Windows. So either one of these links should work. It should be the same thing. Krita is so jank. <laughs> and then just follow the instructions to get the correct download. So here is FFmpeg Essentials. I'm just going to get Essentials. And you'll need an unzipping program like seven. Yeah, seven yeah, unzipping seven program. Seven. So if I, I got your unzipping zip program right here. Inside the folder, this is all the stuff that makes up FFmpeg. So here's what I recommend you do. 
So I have a folder on my C drive called FFmpeg. So I actually right click, made a new folder, and I named it FFmpeg. Then inside of that folder, Fantastic. I all of this stuff into that folder. And then Phenomenal. if we go into this bin folder, that is where we're going to see FFmpeg.exe. So this is the file that you're going to want to direct Krita to when you're exporting your animation. You're going to have to talk a little bit faster, my guy. MPEG on our computer, we're going to go up to File, Render Animation, and instead of Image Sequence, we're going to select Video. And if this is your first time doing it, this FFmpeg will probably be blank, so what you want to do is click this folder icon to navigate towards FFmpeg. And on my computer, it's under C, FFmpeg, Bin, and then select FFmpeg.exe and press Open. And that should be the only time you have to do that. You can just kind of set it and then forget it. And then here's our options of what kind of video we can render. So we can render MPEG videos, WebM videos, all sorts of different formats we can do. Nice. For this example, we're going to do an MPEG video, which will save it as an MP4. And we're going to make sure to check... In All right, well, I can do that later. Um, I guess we'll call the stream for today. We may, we, fi we finalized the starting soon screen, which is nice. Big pog. Big pog energy. So uh, thank you all for stopping by. Uh, I hope the state of play is hype. I don't even remember hearing what they're talking about. Is this like first party stuff? Third party stuff? I don't even know. It's gonna be crazy. This was tremendous progress. Big progress. But yeah, thanks again. Stopping by. Uh, catch you next time. Yeah, and uh, with in all hopes, by next time I will have an actual starting soon screen. It will be nice. And you'll be able to say that my starting soon screen is still on and it will be a real statement that is true. <laughs> He's so tan, thank you, thank you. Thanks for the stram again, helps me focus, no problem. But uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye!